Hello, this is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I am here today to bring you a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. Thank you very much as ever to Diamond Art Club for sending this over to me to show you. And I have got here Dreaming Crystals by Steve Sundram. Um, and this is coming out tomorrow, April the 20th. Um, so that's Saturday, April the 20th, and I'm going to go through the times when it's coming out for you now. So if you qualify for early access release, VIP release, whatever you want to call it, which generally means that you are either a Diamond or Ruby member in Diamond Art Club's rewards tier structure, you will be able to purchase from 9am Pacific time, 12pm Eastern time or 5pm UK time. If you do not qualify for early access, you're going to be able to make your purchase half an hour later, so 9.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m., 5.30 p.m. And of course, if you live in a completely different time zone, just plug one of those into Google and it will tell you what time that is where you are. So this painting, I have been differing over how on earth to film this to show you it because it is a beast. It is 130 by 65 centimetres of pure gorgeousness. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit different for me, this one, a mermaid, but the blues and then the bright pops of colour, it, it just, it, it really called to me. So um, yeah, let's crack on. Let's take a look at it together. So this is a square painting. Um, you can tell that by the branding um, because the box is in blue and it's got the square there and a little thing that says square diamonds. But also to be honest, larger paintings do very often tend to be um, squares because squares give you more detail for the same space. So if you've got a painting that is detailed enough that you need a big painting, Sorry, that's my cat scrabbling in the background. <laughs> Sorry, brief interlude there where I had a discussion with my cat about whether he did want to come in the room or whether he was object just objecting to a closed door. Yeah, so if you have a painting that is detailed enough that you're looking at large sizes, um, then it's often going to be squares just because they're going to give you more detail for per square centimetre or square inch of painting. Anyway, let's take a look. So this is heavy. <laughs> oh, it is going to be a big painting because often with these long, thin ones, um, the, the narrower side, the height is not that big. But 65 centimetres is still pretty decent size. So yeah, I reckon this might be the largest painting in my collection. I can't even get it out of the box, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> that was wedged. I suspect I'm not getting that neatly back in there again. Never mind. Okay, so with a Diamond Art Club kit, you will receive a small sticker, which just confirms all the details of the painting for you. I like to put this on the side of the box so that when I'm storing my painting in my cupboard, I can see at a glance what I've got there. Um, but people do whatever with them. They can go in your logbook, whatever you fancy. And then I have got the toolkit. So the toolkit comes in this recyclable sturdy paper bag and it's got a list of contents here. But let's take a look together. Okay. So I have got a little roll of baggies, always useful to have. I have got a four and seven placer. These are the thin plastic multi-placers, uh, which I personally find really good. Sorry, it's not quite focusing. My camera's messing me around. Then you have a pen and matching comfort grip. The colors will vary from kit to kit, but they always coordinate within a kit. You've got a cover minder, which had uh, stuck itself to the tweezers there. So a cover minder. Let me just wait for my camera to catch up and focus. A cover minder is a small object of prettiness, such as this, a shell which goes very well with the theme of the painting, doesn't it? And on the back are two magnets. So you pop one magnet behind your painting and you pop this over the plastic cover where you want it to be held out of your way so it doesn't get in your way when you're diamond painting. They connect through the canvas and there you are. 
you get some tweezers which are branded and very sharp so they come with a cover to protect you. You will get a little caddy with two plates of heart shaped pink wax which is a really good pink wax if that is your preferred adhesive to use. Oops. <laughs> you get a washi tape, a roll of washi tape. So washi tape is used for various things in diamond painting. Some people just like to collect it because it's pretty to be honest. Um, but it's also used more practically to protect the edges of your painting where the glue extends beyond the painting area from fluff and hair and all that good stuff. Um, it's often used to section up paintings by going over the plastic cover, although more on that later. Um, and I also use it to help me just stick a painting more firmly to my easel. Um, the design will vary, as will the design of the cover minder, depending on, uh, you know, from kit to kit. But it will always be pretty. And then you will get a tray which has a stopper. Okay, so lots of good things in the toolkit there. I'm going to put those away and then get into the painting. Right. Your Diamond Art Club painting will come in this branded dust cover. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle and it just helps keep your painting all neat and tidy. So let me try and get in without ripping it. Instant fail. It doesn't matter, it will still do the job. And oh my goodness, this painting is huge. Okay. <laughs> I haven't yet quite worked out how I'm going to show you all of this. So, I have got two packs of drills and a couple of other bits and bobs to show you. Oh, we've got two sticker sheets. Everything's max size with this kit, it seems. Um, okay, so you've got a thank you for your purchase leaflet. Um, and this is really useful, particularly if you're a first timer, either to Diamond Art Club or to Diamond Painting in general, because it's got lots of tips and tricks, how to diamond paint, links to Diamond Art Club's social media pages. So their VIP Facebook group is a really good resource if you haven't already joined it. And then it also has some discount codes. Um, very important to know with Diamond Art Club that you literally never need to pay the price that you see on the website. You can always, always, always make a saving on that. If you are a first time buyer, you have some great discount codes available to you. Um, amongst them in the description box below, you will find my discount code. It is an affiliate link. So if you choose to use it, I will make a small percentage from your purchase, um, but it will get you 20% off. That is CAT20. And I also have CAT10, which will give you $10 off or the equivalent in your local currency if that happens to work out better for you. Don't feel obligated to use those, but do use a code because there are always discount codes, including for ongoing purchases. Okay. So, as I said, two sticker sheet, which means lots of colors. And look at this painting. Honestly, he has some gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. I was scrolling through his website um, when I accepted this kit just to see what sorts of things, because Diamond Heart Club's brought out a few of his kits recently and they're really diverse and interesting and cool and I just wanted to see more of what he had. And he has loads of ocean themed paintings and they're just so pretty because I am an absolute sucker for the color blue and there is certainly plenty of blue in this painting but I also think these these bright aspects that are going to pop out are going to be really really pretty and dolphins I love dolphins so yeah okay so I have got 73 colors here makes sense. I'm imagining that an awful lot of them are going to be blue and actually not a huge amount on the Kia blue which probably means that we're going to have lots and lots of bags of some of those blues and I reckon there is probably going to be a decent amount of colour blocking um, to help you whiz through this massive painting a bit quicker. Um, but yeah lots of really bright pretty colours jumping out at me here. I have got five ABs, so ABs are Aurora Borealis drills, um, and they are drills that have an extra special glitzy coating, and they're used for accents and just added prettiness in a painting. So I've got five of those because they have DMCs under 150. And then at the other end of the list, I have, well, first of all, I have three colors that start 
in the 6000s, um, which if you're familiar with DMC codes may look a little bit odd to you because they don't normally go that high. And that is because Diamond Art Club has started to bring out some colors of their own that no one else is currently producing in order to help them render paintings as accurately as possible. And those have this series. So these will be colors that you will not find anywhere else. And below that, there are three fairy dust colors. I love fairy dust drills. I think they're my favorite. They are like an in-between zone between ABs and normal drills. So they have a glitter coating, but it's, it's quite subtle. It's not like in your face glitzy. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all those when I go through the drills in a bit. There's some really pretty colors in this. You know, you look at the painting and it's blue, blue, blue with just a few pops of color. But actually there are some really pretty shades in this. Gorgeous. Okay, right, when I start to get the drills out, it's gonna kind of take over the space a bit. So I'm gonna have a quick look at the canvas. So, um, I'm gonna attempt to roll this back on itself to get it laying a little flatter. But needless to say, <laughs> because I do not have a camera set on my ceiling, I am not gonna be able to show you the whole thing in one go. Um, what I will do is sort of move around it and show you it as much as I can up close um, and then try and insert a picture of it afterwards if I am able to. <laughs> I love a new challenge with diamond painting and working on one this big is definitely going to be a bit of a challenge. Okay, so. Look at those gorgeous shades of blue already. I'm excited. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Um, so because it's quite tall, I'm also not quite gonna be able to show you the whole height of it at once. Let's see if I can, oh, I can scroll out a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, so here is the right hand side. Look at all those beautiful colors. Oh, pretty. And yeah, I see loads and loads of color blocking in the blue. It's kind of exactly what you'd expect. But this section is detailed. So you're gonna get a little bit of a contrast, a little bit of both, which for a lot of people, myself included, is what you look for in a painting to keep it interesting. And then into the middle section. Oh. <laughs> just got to get the wire from my light out of the way. Okay, so the middle section, the mermaid and the, the main dolphin. Wow. Again, lots and lots of confetti in her hair, but the rendering looks fabulous. I mean, that is, of course, the advantage of a really big painting is that they can really do justice to the original artwork. And she looks so pretty. Ooh, and then the detail of the, the sort of the sea of the ocean. And then up here, on the left hand side of the painting, there's two more dolphins and another selection of uh, wildlife that you find at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> I'm not gonna guess at what these things are. Um, but I do see a starfish and some seahorses. What's that big ball thing? Oh, I don't know. It's, I guess, is it another form of crystal? Because these over here, of course, are, are crystals and there are some crystals within this section too. I'm not sure. Very cool and interesting though. Wow. <laughs> This painting is so pretty. So as I'm running my hand over it, I can feel ridges. And that reminds me to explain to you what I was going to say before. What I was saying about the, the cover minder holding the plastic cover out of the way um, and using washi tape to section your kit. So those are all things that you can do. But Diamond Art Club has recently also innovated these perforated covers. So. Um, let me see if I can get this so that you can see. If I pull that back slightly, you might just about catch a glimpse 
of the perforations running through it. So they've changed it to this, this sort of thicker, sturdier plastic cover, which is double-sided. Very cool. No more getting the wrong side stuck down and panicking. And it is divided into roughly 10 by 10 centimeter sections. And if you so desire, you can use that perforated cover uh, for your sections as you're working for a painting because a lot of people, myself included, do prefer to work in sections, particularly on a large painting like this, but actually I do that for all paintings. So it's just a handy thing to have that all sorted for you already, if that is how you would like to work. I would love to see how someone would tackle this painting if they prefer to do one colour at a time. I don't know if that's even doable. Intriguing. <laughs> okay, right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the colours and then I am going to find a way to somehow scroll through this painting, which I think I'm going to have to do section by section. Um, yeah, and then I will come back to you again and have a look into it in a bit more detail. Okay. I've moved the canvas out of the way as best I can. And now let's take a look at some of the colours. Um, so these both come with a sticky label, just telling you which kit they come with in case you prefer to store things separately. And they've got one and two, very helpfully, so I will go through them in that order. So let's take a look at the first bag. <laughs> oh, look at all those colours. Gorgeous. Okay, so first up I have a script that has a lot of blue drills on. So I have got the colour 797 and I've got one, oh, I only two bags of that actually. Um, the next one is quite similar. So 820 then, I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 bags of 820, which is another really pretty shade of blue. And then next up, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 3843. So another very pretty shade of blue there. Next up, I have got some of the smaller colors. So I've got 963 and 778. And then Z3856, which is the first fairy dust drill. So if you haven't come across these before, I cannot do them justice without getting them out of the pack, but hopefully you can just see a little touch of extra glitter in that. Trust me when I say these are so pretty. 926, 402 and 129, the first AB. So this is a very pretty pale yellow one and you can probably see a bit more clearly on that the extra glitz that you get with that coating. 101 as well, 666, a really bright lovely red. 3776, 3809, I love teal. 3787, 606, 817, 740, such bright colours. 132, another AB, so I think that's three of the five. <laughs> 210, 600, 208, 3768, and 211. And then on the next strip of drills, I have got, isn't it funny, such a huge painting, and then they've got these colours that just have a tiny bit in them just for that detail and depth of, of shading and rendering. I love it. So I've got 605, 400, 3861, 603, 3849, 604, 3607, 814, 300, 6011, one of those special colours that you won't find anywhere else. And it's actually a really fun shade, isn't it? <laughs> 3726, 956, 3, 3? 947, 3801, 301, 917, lovely plum colour. 3727, 451, 445, I love this shade of yellow. And 3814. And then the last strip of drills from this bag has in it 792, 
3837518. Oh, I like that shade of blue a lot. 6000, which again is one of these new ones, as is 6012. And they're very pretty. 498, 158, 120, another of the ABs. And I think that's, yeah. <laughs> and then 33, 333. Oh, I can't talk today, which is one of my favourite shades of purple. Okay, let me put all of those aside and move on to bag number two. If I can find my way in. two bags of drills on for some reason. Um, 7.42 and 3.7.5.6. And then I have got 3.3.2.5, lovely shade of baby blue I've always enjoyed. 7.7.5, 9.1.2, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.9.7, 5.
Okay, so I have done my best to show you as much of the kit up close and personal as I can. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of what you'll be working on if you choose to buy this. Um, and this is the part where I normally try and pick out some of the special drills um, because people who really enjoy working with special drills like to see that. It's gonna be tricky, gotta be honest, with all of this to play with, um, but I will give it a go. Um, so, <laughs> Uh, where to start? Um, so I'm just going to look for these ABs first of all because a lot of the ABs are in the brighter colours so I can see the codes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dotted around all of these coloured areas. So there's a little bit up in the dolphin up there that you can't quite see um, and around here there's some of those oranges, quite a lot of the orangey one actually, um, all through here as well. And then for the yellowy one, um, I see some of the one, the green one down here as well. And I wonder if there are any ABs sort of going through the water. They weren't big backs, were they? So they're probably more saved for accents. I wonder where they are. Oh, there's some dots of twos around here. And some threes going up. So sort of helping to outline things in the water more so than being part of the water. But there is some in the mermaid's tail, which makes sense, doesn't it? Because, you know, you would think the mermaid's tail would, would glisten a bit more. And then with the fairy dust drills, there's a dot for the white, there's an E for the sort of yellowy beige one. And that purple is that kind of spindle thing. We all have our own names for for the, um, the symbols, don't we? Now, these are always harder to pick out for me, but the white dots I see spread quite a lot through as sort of outlines. So there's white bits through here, there's white bits in there, there's white bits through the mermaid, and again, up on the dolphin. Now, can I spot any of the others? I see some of the E symbol through this. And struggling to see any of the purple one in this section. So let's move along and look in this middle section, which I don't know what, which is my favorite part of the painting. I think the mermaid is beautiful, but I do love the colored sections. So this floor of the seabed where you've got all this beautiful patterning, that is in that green AB, which is gonna be gorgeous. And you've got lots of the white fairy dust running through the mermaid and, and outlining that dolphin as well. And actually lots of all the special drills, I think, in her. So I see um, some of the blue AB outlining the dolphin. And then all through the mermaid, you've got twos and threes and fours and that white dot. So yeah, loads and loads of special drills helping to bring her to life, which is gonna be super pretty. And then over on the right side of the kit. <laughs> it's so tricky to get around. I'm just making myself laugh with how much I'm botching this. Sorry, guys. Um, and then over here, loads and loads of bright colours and loads and loads of special drills through that as well. So I see, I think all of them at some point through this section. I see one, two, three, four, uh, some of the fives. Yeah, there's some of the fives. I see the white dots that are the white fairy dust drill. Um, the only one I haven't seen anywhere is the purple fairy dust drill. So where is that hiding? I probably just can't see it for looking because that symbol isn't one that's gonna jump out at me. Because it's, it's somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> and I don't remember it even being a particularly small bag. So yeah, where is that hiding? Do you know what? I have spent some time looking and I think I've just got brain block now and I cannot find that, that purple fairy dust drill symbol. I just can't see it for looking. It's got to be here. Um, so yeah, I can't point that one out to you, I'm afraid. But yeah, I would say, as is often the case with Diamond Art Club, that the special drills have just been used, spread throughout the painting as accents. I don't see any big blocks of them anywhere, but I think where they've been used, they're really going to provide 
gorgeous pretty accents and highlights to the painting so yeah as usual I cannot fault the rendering of this painting it looks amazing so I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this with me today I'm, I'm a bit in awe really of how pretty it is um, so this will be available, as I said, tomorrow, the 20th of April at Diamond Art Club at either 9am, 12pm or 5pm Pacific Eastern and UK time or half an hour later, depending on where you are in Diamond Art Club's rewards tier structure. So yeah, make sure to check this out tomorrow if this seems like the kind of diamond painting that you would love to have as part of your collection. I can't wait to see this one done. I think it's going to take me a little while to get to it because I kind of have my next few months worked out. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be spectacular. I can just imagine how much it's going to like shimmer and shine with all those accents and just the underwater feel is going to be really, really pretty. So if you have enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like on it. It really helps to support the channel by by telling other people that this, this might be a video they might enjoy too. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you've enjoyed what I've done here, please consider doing that as well. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>